friends. Uh, today's video, we're going to be making an Olive Garden salad at home. Call this a dupe. Call this a take on the Olive Garden salad. I've been on a low-carb journey for some time, and I do love this salad. If you want to grab a quick screenshot of all the ingredients, add to your specification, but I always recommend to add less and then later you can always add more if you're like, oh, this is, it needs a little bit more, you know, Kalamata olives or something. You can always add more. Now I'm going to say that this is an exceptionally wet salad. So make it and then eat it right away. Um, if you keep the salad overnight or whatever, it's going to get really, really like wet. So we have a bag of iceberg, one Roma tomato, and then just a tiny bit of the red onion. It has to be red onion. My favorite, Kalamata olives. I'm going to run off and marry this jar. It's so fantastic. I buy that at Costco. We have some grated Parmesan and also the pepperoncinis. And if you do not like spicy, I have a little hack for you. I'm going to talk you through this. Also, get some sort of a container with a lid so you can shake it. And it's pretty easy if you're not into like tossing, you know, might be fun for the kids to shake the salad. I don't know. Uh, so this is some sped up video. I'm making half of a serving. Um, my husband didn't want any, so pretty self-explanatory there. And then I have a little chopper here. I think most of you have it or you might have better knife skills than I, but I just like to chop it uh, so it's very unified, um, you know, cubes because I'm not a very good chopper. Now, this is where a lot of water will come into your salad. So if you wanted to like drain some of the water out of these little um, tomatoes, you can do that um, or not. You know, it's all dependent. Everybody's different. And now this is the controversial thing with the red onion. Um, you can just cut off a little piece and cut off a couple slivers and just throw that at the top of the salad. I like a little bit more and I don't mind uh, the bite of a red onion. A lot of people do. So you could soak it in uh, cold water for 10 minutes and then strain it. It won't have as much as the bite, but I don't mind it because I like that. It tastes like a pizza parlor in my mouth. So I have a little quarter piece here. I'm not going to use all of that because this is dirty and my knife skills suck. <laughs> We're going to slap chop it again. I know this is like laziness personified. And I probably throw in about a tablespoon. Again, this is for a serving for one person. So, you know, just a tiny bit amount. Measure with your heart, as they say. Uh, now a little bit of Parmesan cheese, um, a tablespoon as well. Now with the pepperoncini, uh, throw in a couple. Alternatively, if those are too spicy for you, just put in a tablespoon of the juice from the jar and you'll still have that same effect, just a tiny bit, you know, as you can see, it's not very much, but it really goes a long way. And the Kalamata olives, I did put in quite a few because I love these olives. So I will always put a lot more and I just cut them in half so I can enjoy them some more. And as I said, it's a wet, salad like you can even see the juices flowing in there uh so there it is that's the, the the bones of the salad now the secret ingredient is splurge on the olive garden dressing walmart a couple of bucks totally worth it start with a tablespoon give it a good shake it's going to look something like this sorry i didn't get the shake on camera and i made a low carb um lasagna with this a couple nights ago and it was just absolutely fantastic it's just so flavorful and um, it just makes you feel like you're getting away with something even though you're not. You can serve this with chicken, steak, it's so universal, or some low carb pasta or a pasta if you're not low carb, but it's just really fantastic. I also recommend that you bake it within an hour um, of eating it because it does collect a lot of moisture if you put this in the fridge for a couple hours, it's gonna be a different consistency and you don't wanna be surprised. So uh, throw it together and then serve it right away. Uh, so initially this was supposed to be a cooking channel uh, years ago, cooking and couponing. <laughs> but uh, that didn't turn out uh, the way I thought it would. It just turned out into a couponing channel. But I do like, uh, you know, making different dishes. Um, I have a complete playlist uh, from videos from years ago of different um, items I've made. Uh, if you are a home chef or like to cook, uh, check it out. I will link it right here. As always, thanks for watching and we'll catch you in the next one. Bye, guys.